All right. The 2.4 special program is about to begin. Yeah, we got Yunli and Jiao Chin in this update, and probably Hunt March 7 as well. So, yeah, let's hope we can see them and also see what's up with the 2.4 update and whatnot, because I legit have no idea what Hoi is planning to do with uh, 2.4. I'm not sure why we're going back to the Sienjo, but hey, let Hoyo cook. Here we go. Five seconds. Let us begin 2.4. Here we go. Oh, yeah, brought to you by the IPC. Oh, yeah. Long story short. Work pressure is really starting to wear me down. Oh wait, there's no captains. <laughs> Any medicinal recommendations, Mr. Jocho? <laughs> I have just the thing, Mr. Uh, Albert. Take two mace of heavenward pepper, three tails of There's a new Nayeli Husbando. A caddy of millet pepper. Remove what the, the seeds and grind together with a splash of prickly ash cooking wine. That's just wine. That's not medicine, that's just spicy shit. After 20 minutes. <laughs> Finally, Apply a layer of starch, which will induce a deep tuck. Oh, we put it on your face. Okay. Good for the mind. No, that's that sounds painful. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Albert is dead. He's been cooked. Huh? Albert's not the only one exhausted around here. Our good Yun Li. Well, Miss Yun Li, start out by blanching some ingredients in a premium broth, but make sure it utilizes plenty of. Wait, that's Mark Whitman, right? Premium. Cosmos VA? Chilies. Uh, a <laughs> general. Digestion issues on the horizon. Uh, some coriander should help with that. Stay oh. your hand. <laughs> Return that evil herb at once. <laughs> Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> Thinkable. <laughs> okay, well, off to a good start. Up oh, trailer time. Uh to this place brings back so many memories you know there you oh are. wait is that boba t <laughs> back to the cnjo baby combat art ceremony your presence would be greatly appreciated whoa what's going on what the fuck is that hey oh yeah she's a sword master too no oh god of course I gotta show the feet <laughs> Yo, that's fucking sick! Is that a fucking great sword she's wielding? Oh yeah, hot march seven. Let's go. Oh yeah, those are new enemies, are they not? Oh, the prison? <laughs> We're gonna go see Lorcha and see what he's up to. Yeah, those are fucking new enemies, are they not? Gather, there is always an undercurrent beneath yeah, that's Cosmos VA. For sure. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before he even sound <laughs> he's even has, has the same tone as Kazawa. Oh shit. Freedom, <laughs> Wait, Mose! That was him! My oh. oh what the fuck? Was Does he just just kill Shui? I'm always up for a challenge. Hey, Feishao! Ah, oh, <laughs> God damn it, Hoi! You gotta, of course, drum market the fucking 2.5 characters even in the live stream itself. Holy shit! Okay, what the hell's happening on the on the Shackling Prison? Yeah, isn't that where Lotus being kept up right now, and Jing Liu as well? What the fuck is going on there? <laughs> also, hey, Redemptrico, be sure you claim it uh, in 12 hours, otherwise it's gonna go away. Oh man, I love Hot March 7 so much, although this is a very sussy angle of uh, of her. <laughs> what is this angle, Hoyo? <laughs> also, does she use Boba Tea in her fucking animations? <laughs> I mean, it is fitting for March 7, I'm not gonna lie. But yes, I I I, I want to see March seven some more, like hot March seven. I I think I want to build her. Immortal delight. Oh yeah, the boba tea like item, right? Also yeah, I love the giant freaking sword Yunli is wielding. I want to see what her animations are like. Okay, Albert's not dead. Good. Sienjo Ming delegate present. Sienjo Yao Ching delegate. 
Cien Zhou Law Fu Delicate Present. Present. Good morning, morning. Good, good afternoon, afternoon. And, and good, good evening. evening. <laughs> and to all our viewers far and wide, welcome to it. the version 2.4. <laughs> you, you only just quickly ate. ...under the pristine blue <laughs> special program. As always, your avian buddy Albert's here. Hey, how have you been since Jay cut your salary? Sword <laughs> from the gymming. And I'm Jiao Cho. I may have the appearance of a chef, but let's I'm go. We got Kazuo and Navi in the game. Everyone, <laughs> it's been a while. I trust you're well. A pleasure to have you three in the studio. Now, the Pentecone vacation has <laughs> Monster Hunter looking great sword. The you're not wrong. That looks like a, a weapon from Monster Hunter. <laughs> the Xianzhou Lao Fu! Which is precisely why this program has invited Xianzhou friends, old and new, to welcome Trailblazers back to an old stomping ground. <laughs> Speaking of which, General Jing Yuen. Is yeah. this your first time on the special program? Oh, is he? Is indeed, Mr. Albert, and I am deeply. I haven't honored. seen like the and I know the earliest special program programs, but this is his first. Okay. I never have delayed. <laughs> <laughs> bon appetit, General. I hate to bring this up, but our catering costs for this episode were kind of spicy. If you'd like to leave a tip, <laughs> we'd be extremely. Wait hey guys, look at my dog. I'm also part of this hot, uh, hot, hot pot party. <laughs> Didn't the pink-haired fox prepare it? <laughs> well, I'm a hot pot enthusiast, after all. Where I go, the spice follows. The Your spice follows. Is payment enough, dear friends. Dinner's on me. <laughs> what a gentleman! <laughs> Your delicious morality will not be forgotten, good sir! Uh, let's cut to the chase already. Why are we here anyway? It's like this. <laughs> I assume you all received an invitation from the Seat of Divine Foresight, welcoming you to the Luminary War Dance? Yeah, it's a martial arts ceremony. Competitors battle it out in a flash of swords, all for the title of Sword Champion. As a sword fact, Champion. God, she sounds like younger than Yan Chang. Remembering the Rainbow <laughs> Orbiter and the Cloud Knight's triumphant resistance against the abominations of abundance. As you know, the Law Fu's Ambrosial Arbor Crisis was only recently resolved. Now is the time to regroup and raise our spirits. Which is why we have chosen this moment to convene the War Dance. Ah. It's also for this reason that the title of Sword Champion will not be decided in this ceremony. It won't? Oh. Ah. Your Master Yen Ching will be bitterly disappointed. Okay, Here maybe the next Jacho. update then. <laughs> this War Dance isn't only a morale boost. It's also an invitation to allies and friends, a display of peace, and an important duty for the Cloud Knights. That's why Yen Ching has taken it upon himself to accompany the Trailblazers for the duration. Exactly right. In yep. Version two Trailblazers continuance. I called it. Part one. Under the pristine blue one. Trailblazers will witness Part one. Yen okay. So. And his part one for this update and like okay. four, uh, two point five will be the next part. Not enough. Huh. You need our help, right? Such a distinguished occasion surely merits the attendance of other esteemed guests. <laughs> of course! This Jianzhou Yao Qing delegation will be led by none other than the Merlin's Claw, General Fei Xiao. At her side will be two senior advisors, Zhao Cho, uh, THE Zhao Cho, <laughs> as well as Moza. <laughs> and as Moza. The okay, that's how you say it. Me and Grandpa, uh, uh, <laughs> General Huai Yan, the famous Flaming Heart will be representatives. Be they friends from near or far, we will welcome them with open arms. <laughs> this promises to be quite the war dance. I don't want to lower your spirits, but I heard that the Trailblazer's arrival doesn't always coincide with a happy... <laughs> I mean, wasn't everyone fighting in the trailer? Three uh, other yeah. generals in the same place they look peaceful. at the same time... <laughs> Good sign. <sighs> That's not all. Rumors are circulating through the Alliance that General Jingyuan's conduct during the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis may have violated certain laws of the land. Oh? Could it really be that? Oh, boy. 
Yeah, no, no, no way. Did you know? Just ignore the rules. He didn't break them. With a certain assignment. If you want to know the details, then ready yourself for the upcoming Trailblaze continuing story. Let us refrain from needless anxiety. The law foo will ensure a spectacular war dance. Right, jeez. Right. <laughs> Although <laughs> us going to the prison in the next update doesn't really give me confidence. Master Apprentice. She's been getting a lot of attention. She gets her own intro, right? March 7th. I can hear the Navia in Yunli's voice. <laughs> it sounds like a very, very tiny Navia. I love it. Own martial arts journey. Stay tuned. We've got more intel on that coming up on the program. Which reminds me, the war dance ceremony is set to span versions 2.4 and 2.5. Ah, okay. Might be in the past. So 2.5 will be the continuance of the continuance. <laughs> the continuance of the trailblazer continuance in this update. <laughs> Funny how that works. We've missed the trailblazers dearly. Here's hoping the Cienjo law. So what are you telling me is this trailblazer continuance quest is gonna leave off on a cliffhanger? Probably. Ah, the broth is ready. Shall we add any extra seasonings? Add them all! No more chili. We gotta make the most of the occasion. It's not every day we <laughs> catch up with the Daniel I love Yunli just fucking, just <laughs> eating. Version 2.4 will be introducing a brand new map. The Shackling Prison. These pals the of prison. Course, they're all in prison? Not all of them. Not in the traditional sense. <laughs> the Shackling Prison <laughs> under be the funny. Lords Commission Administration. It's where Shui Yi and Hanya work. The yeah. Shackling Prison. Also, is yeah, where was we Shui fucking criminals. killed in that trailer? It's cold and forbidding entrances. I know she's a puppet and she can be repaired and whatnot, but once. holy crap. <laughs> that does look creepy. An individual yeah, could, could you imagine we could just came here and just tapped on Lord Cell, just hi, <laughs> just taunt him? For those guilty of particularly heinous crimes. We reserve special cells of biting cold. Or Whoa, what the fuck? Meat. Why is it lava in the prison? The <laughs> of Blade and Lodcha were conducted in just such a place. Right. Oh, this is the it's place where, like, like, easy place to spring a prison. Yeah, where Jing Liu came in. You can say that. Again. And Blade's fucking arrest. The Commission keeps a watchful eye. And the you know, of the five people, three must be punished. With <laughs> carefully designed mechanisms. Those who can access oh god, those meteors are back as well. Innumerable tests of fortitude. It would appear the shackling prison is the haunt Whoa. of wolf like monsters. <sighs> Borison? <laughs> That's right. What? <laughs> okay, just get let Fushuan get hit in there. <laughs> Bloodlust. Of course, a harmony character gets always attacked. A certain number of Meanwhile, the preservation character is just fine. <laughs> state to become enhanced. Ooh. Oh. Watch your step, trailblazers. <laughs> what happened to catching up with pals? Uh, <laughs> okay, hopefully they're not I'm too sure difficult to deal with. And Hanya would love you to go and express your uh, <clears throat> sympathies. Anyway, with oh yeah, the way, Don Fung was in prison here too, Ryan. From the Zhu Ming and the Yao Qing. Starting <laughs> with the gifted young girl, Yun Li. <laughs> love the sparkles in her eyes. She's so adorable. <laughs> Yeah, look at her. Is that a firefly? <laughs> okay. Oh, that was that was a bit excessive, don't you think? <laughs> she used her whole ass great sword to take out a fly. Is she fucking throwing her sword? Holy shit! Oh my god! Giant sword! Die! I'm from Holy the shit! Dooming, a ship known for its unrivaled craftsmanship. As the record yeah, shows, I'm honestly not. Su I'm mostly surprised she's not a fire character and physical. <laughs> comes from the artisans of the Zooming. Ever since I was little, I've studied sword mastery and weapons forging with. Oh yeah, I do kind of find it kind of uh, weird that her feet I are out. Like, come on, Hoyo, <laughs> put some shoes on this damn girl. Grandpa's always <laughs> been nice to me. He loves me, you know? Miss Yoon Lee is a talented young lady, fascinated with Power Crept Clara. She sees renounced. <laughs> yeah, in more ways than one. <laughs> Some say she can even communicate with them directly. To her, swords are more honest than people. She lives by the phrase, swords make acquaintances, fighting makes friends. Oh? <laughs> it so happens that on the Law Fu there is an able young man with a similar love of the sword. <laughs> I have a feeling you two might get along. You mean Yan Ching? 
He doesn't know the first thing about swords. <laughs> he collects them like they're going out of fashion, then never uses them. Uh, I can hear those blades crying from here. <laughs> Seems like you those two are going to be great friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not to mention, see the giant sword I use? Forged him myself. He might not be complete, but he's already stronger than anything out there. Weapons of this caliber usually get their own name. <laughs> what do you call them? Not bad, Feathers. Finally, someone who understands swords. <laughs> I gave him a unique name for the ages. Oh, yeah? Old Metal. Huh. <laughs> old Metal. That's it? it old a Metal? About it. I Boo. Like it too. Get a better name. Me and Old Metal have a deep connection. Every time I get into a scrap, I ask Old Metal, which one do you want to strike? Old Metal usually says something like, <laughs> let's start here and end there. To which I reply, oh, all of them? All right. <laughs> old Metal's adorable manner belies. Oh, how old is Yin Lee? Like, she, she seems like a kid. Confident and <laughs> like, in, in, like in both her model and also her voice. But I'm, I'm just gonna assume she's like a young adult. Oh my god. She's very short as well. Persuasion isn't really my style. When using my skill, I restore my own HP while dealing physical damage to a single target okay. and adjacent enemy. She self-heals. Hmm. Is the way she counters the enemy. When attacked, she immediately launches a counter on the attacker, dealing damage to the target Ooh. and adjacent enemies. There's a grudge. Okay, so yeah, boom, no Clara. <laughs> Power crept she Clara. <laughs> you gotta use the enemy's strength against Die. them. Die! After using my <laughs> ultimate, I acquire the parry state which allows me to sustain lower damage and taunt all enemies. In addition, uh, okay. my ordinary counter is upgraded to powerful counter, <laughs> which deals higher damage. <laughs> okay, so she's literally you Clara, well but way in better in, in every single way. Assumes that the counters, the taunts, and everything? To concern for you? <laughs> nope. When using my technique, I obtain a special effect for a huh. set duration. Clara Pro if Max, an yeah. Launches an attack during that duration. What the? <laughs> was she eating food there? Battle, I, launch a <laughs> I looked away for a second. A random enemy. Imagine you've hardly regained your footing when a girl with a giant blade comes right and straight for you. <laughs> Which reminds me. In version two hey, okay, four, she's getting companionship mission too. Nice. To Plowshare's companion mission. Granddad and granddaughter arrive when the love food. She's around Yanching's age, so 14, I think. Ah, I see. But sought after among the war dance competitors. Wait, you press something else too? So she's <laughs> Clara. <laughs> but if she got older, got blue hair, and went to the Sienjo. Now remember, Albert, the prize is for the war dance champion, not the host. So if Yun Li is also set to compete, and were she to you know the, the funny thing is i have Klaus light cone so i could probably just snag that and put it on her lafu <laughs> has something to say about that is you ming may have brought the prize but they ain't leaving with it huh. watch us easy now i love these like little <laughs> these little faces uh yuni is making by the way <laughs> sounds like another difficult challenge for yang ching you guys sound so Yanshin can't catch a break, can Let's he? Let's move on to another new character, shall we? <laughs> Hailing from the Yao Jing, and soon to be making his appearance. It's military healer, Zhao Chou! Yay! There he is! Oh, of course he's thinking about the fucking spices. <laughs> oh, he, he always has his eyes shut, right? Yeah, he, like, never opens them. Oh, wow, she's, like, throwing fucking bombs. Whoa, is that his burst? Oh, oh, there, okay. <laughs> okay, so he opens his eyes during his fucking burst. I see. I've heard much about you. You're too kind, General. My visit to the Lawfu is only an aid of keeping a promise. You owe someone a tasty meal? Well, taste is secondary to nutrition, Miss Yunli. I'm curious, Mr. Zhao Cho. Under what circumstances would you usually open your eyes? Uh, yeah. Forgive me, but, um... Like killing an enemy? <laughs> your beef is overcooked. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, seems like culinary emergencies are pretty eye-opening. <laughs> but I digress. Mr. Zhao Zhao, 
Why don't you introduce yourself a little more? Well, I am. I'm trying to think of like what character, like you know, those characters that anime who like always have their eyes shut, and then like when they open their eyes, there's like some serious shit going on. I'm accompanying the general to the Sienjo Lawfu for this war dance ceremony. Yeah, Josh is exactly that character. What's with all the broths and ingredients then? Well, you see, Miss Yun Li, I believe in culinary medicine. The notion that we are what we eat. The arts of cooking and healing are one in the same, which is why I spend so much yeah, time delving Yeah, I'm a healer. That's why I'm a nihility character. Medicinal cuisine. And a fire nihility character at that. simply a merry occasion, but an opportunity for food to work quiet wonders for our biological systems. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Why bother dividing the pot into nine sections if you're going to eat from all of them? <laughs> I am a self-confessed chow hound, Miss Yu. Yeah, exactly like the father from <laughs> Cloudy with a chance of meatballs when he opens his eyes. It's just like, oh shit. Yet, <laughs> Reminds me no, exactly of that. Let's talk some more about that healing of yours. Before you came under General Faceshell's command, you were well known in the Xianzhou Yao Ching's alchemy. Yeah, and also Brock from Pokemon as well. You cut your teeth as a military healer with the Cloud Dites on campaign for the hunt. I heard you decided to retire. Only return in his service at the personal request of the Cauldron Master. Hmm. The Cauldron Some Master. Prefer work to leisure, I suppose. Well, I am fortunate enough to be respected for my craft. Some even go so far as to deem me a miracle cure. <laughs> as General Face shall I'm not gonna lie, I close my eyes and while listening to his voice, I still hear Kasu, huh? <laughs> Combat is a bubbling broth. With each side occupying one half of Yun Yong Hot Pot. Indeed. It's like his tone of voice is no different from Kazuha's. <laughs> marked by myriad changes, constantly evolving in a dance of yin and yang. <laughs> well said, General. They say foxes are cunning creatures. Seems like Mr. Zhao Cho is no exception. <laughs> I think it's time we took a look at what our delicious doctor can do on the back. All right, gameplay. Well, Let's see it. Time. I am a fire type character on the path of nihility. <laughs> yes, while being a healer. Exploration, I create a special dimension. Whoa. After entering battle with an enemy within the dimension, I inflict them with fire damage. Okay. The possibility of following up with a stack of ashen roast debuff. So. Ashen rose, okay. The enemy alive? <laughs> ashen rose turns Precisely. Oh, <laughs> uh, yep. With Akron, so he's meant to be using an, in an Akron team. Has a chance of inflicting ashen roast. Indeed. Case in point, if I were to use my skill to deal blast damage, there would be a chance of simultaneously inflicting a stack of ashen roast on the target. Yeah, explosive Did spices. <laughs> throw spices into the battlefield? Sharp eyes, <laughs> General. After launching my ultimate, the battlefield becomes an enormous Yuan Yang hot pot. The enemies are trapped. He cooks the enemies alive. Broth, which inflicts damage on each and every one of them. And he opens his eyes. At the same Boom. time, the effects of Ashen Roast are oh. compounded for enemies inflicted with the debuff. In line with the current highest number of stacks. Immediately after, a field appears, which lasts for a set number of turns. Okay. All these hot pop visuals are making me hungry again. What so what does the buff do? do exactly? Yeah. Enemies within the field sustain greater ultimate damage. Oh. And during their action, oh. <laughs> there is a chance they will be inflicted by a stack of ashen roast. Oh, it would follow that if, uh, if for so example, he's Akron very, team, very much meant to be using an Akron team. Ultimate charges more quickly. Absolutely right. Increase I, ultimate damage I and inflicts debuffs. Yeah, fit for Acheron. Showing them the door. The last meal they'll ever experience. Word of advice? Order out next time, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to know new friends from both the Zooming and the Yao Ching. Let's turn our gaze to the version 2.4 banner info. Uh, here we go. First oh, okay. Huahua's finding a rerun. And you need to phase one. Okay, so I think I'll be pulling for her. Because I feel like I have enough naively characters as is. Dance at sunset and night of fright will be boosted. A cat is a human's best friend. <laughs> you certainly have a cat like energy to you, Miss Yun Li. Let's move swiftly on to this version second half. Oh, Sparkle's of getting a rerun. Boost limited five-star characters. Zhao Zhao. Already? Okay. Full sparkle. In addition, 
the drop rates for the limited five star light cones, those many springs, wait, and earthly escapade will be boosted. <laughs> so, another eye opening moment for our wait a minute. friend. Moment I don't feel like they're forgetting somebody they're not rerunning yet. Tree should be used for admiring the surrounding scenery. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> And I almost forgot the version. Oh, hey, we're also getting a new. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, it's a harmony like cone. Oh, I thought it was like a. Hotmart 7's like signature. Swordmaster. <laughs> okay. Someone's been taking their training seriously. <laughs> Without further yeah, I just noticed on the March Light Cone as well. <laughs> Interesting that it's Harmony and, yeah, it's not, pretty much not meant to be used on her. Speaking of March 7, yay, there she is. I love her new outfit, by the way. It, lo it looks so, so good on her. I love the tied-up hair and everything. <laughs> oh, look at her. Oh, fucking... <laughs> Boba tea! <laughs> What the heck? Is this part of her purse? Boom. On returning to the Cienjo, March 7th is brimming with excitement for yeah, the, what the fuck is dance, And it's time to learn swordplay from Masters What the hell is her kid? Why is she using Boba in mid battle? I still vividly remember instructing Yang Ching in the way I'm building. Sword. I'm building, yeah. Now he's March 7th for sure. His knowledge to others. <sighs> How time flies. March 7th might be a rookie, but she's also a natural. Her <laughs> master <laughs> taught her the best in Juming swordplay. So, naturally, she's made quick progress. <laughs> Yan Ching is also March 7th's master. To yeah, her all is literally the power of fl anime flashbacks. Not in his nature. <laughs> all right, you are, General. I heard that March 7th was a bow and arrow user. Brave of her to take up the sword, and no doubt a challenge for Oh yeah, and dual swords at that? <laughs> Not to mention, Yun Li and Yen Xing's sword play isn't exactly similar. Well, March 7th and yeah, this is the same March 7, right? As in, you can switch paths with her, and it's not like... Two different characters? Sword, you just need to swing it! Oh, follow the I mean, in a sense, it's like Don Hung and Don Hung and Bible Lunay. It's nothing like that, right? It's knocks. working the trailblazer, I think. March 7th, sword blade action. March 7th, the Hunt's basic attack yep. deals imaginary damage. When using her skill, oh my God. March 7th selects a teammate as master <laughs> and, and gives her bubble tea. with a special beverage to increase their speed. Oh, Good speed increase. Person. As a promising young student, <laughs> she March gives bubble tea to the teammate. Understanding okay. Her master style. When her master launches an attack or ultimate, March 7th acquires charges. When charges oh. reach a set number of stacks, she immediately takes action again and obtains an enhanced basic attack. Oh. Her enhanced basic attack deals set hits of damage to a target enemy. With a so, chance of she gets max action, she gets her turn instantly. <laughs> Just a chance? <laughs> Eureka! She's a rookie, remember? Her moves might be a little rusty, but they can surprise you all the same. Depending on her master's path, her specific attacks possess additional effects. That's right. For example, masters on the paths of destruction, erudition, or the hunt oh. can cause specific attacks to deal additional damage. Ooh. Masters on the paths of nihility, harmony, preservation, or abundance can raise the toughness reduction of specific attacks. Putting learning into practice. Okay. So, her buff does different effects depending on which path character you March give it to. Can deal damage to a target enemy oh, yep, burst. Her next enhanced basic attack. <laughs> Power of flashbacks. <laughs> what and apprentice is like, there you have it. Bam. March 7th is humble and learns from all her allies. During exploration, for every time a teammate uses their technique, oh. March 7th acquires a charge at the start of the next battle. When using her own technique, she regenerates okay. energy at the start of the next battle. It must be a so she gets stacks based on other people's techniques. Such Interesting. Perception. <laughs> well, get this. Completing specific tasks. Yep, there we go. Switch path with March seventh. Will unlock March seventh. The hut. Once unlocked, a path switching option will appear in the character interface for this. Yep. <laughs> that's my oh, that's a cool looking UI. She certainly does have. The <laughs> why? Why can't the trailblazer have that? <laughs> I think we could all use a lie down. <laughs> More exciting updates. Yeah, I, I am for sure building Hot March 7th. She's, her gameplay seems kind of fun. Also, hey, there's your second of redemption code, folks. OK, 
Okay, so yeah, there's, there seems to be like a lot of knickknacks regarding your kit. It's like, hmm. So the buff is different depending on if they're an erudition destruction or hunt character, or if they're a harmony or any other path, naivety, uh, abundance, and preservation path. Interesting. Right, yeah, I will talk about the code here, because I forgot to do it in the first one. My bad. Uh, there we go, 553. Five, there we go. And yeah, be sure you claim this codes before 12 hours go by, because... <laughs> otherwise, you miss out on all 300 Prima Gems. Okay. Interesting kits, not gonna lie. I think I'm still interested in Yun Lin the most, but Zhao Chir seems pretty good, too. And yeah, I think I for sure want to use Hunt March 7th. Not sure what I give her per se, but if anything goes wrong, then I'll just give her, like, Topaz's artifacts or something. Okay. Welcome back, Trailblazers. It's time we took a look. Version 2.4 Zaw New Events. As the war dance approaches, guests and visitors from all corners are converging. Ooh, on Saga of Primeval Blade. Noble intentions. I'm sure all I guess these are uh, the, 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 these are the events, the probably. Scott. Oh. The Alliance is very familiar with the conduct and deeds of the IPC. Hardly surprising. Well, Scott is out to demonstrate that Sienjo Swordplay is no match for IPC tech. Uh, Not only does he have oh great, the IPC is causing trouble store, once again. <laughs> also wants to assert his authority through battle. For real? I for see real? an old metal owe this guy a beating. Or <laughs> Hold your horses, Miss Yoon Lee. As a matter of fact, your apprentice got a little impulsive and took up the challenge. <laughs> She's due to face off against her. The barking guy's back? I hope so. <laughs> a familiar turn of events. Are we able to Oh, a free March Eat along? Is that's this is what this event is? Defeat this IPC Rodnig. Trailblazers will take up the position of... Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, Hot March 7 would have Edelons. So, wait, you don't pull for Edelons? You... Days, crash, you earn them? Course. Hmm. Mr. Albert, have you heard the proverb, haste makes waste? Have you heard the proverb, when needs must? Between me and Yen Xing, Whoa, wait. we got the sword skills to wait, I looked the away. best wait, what was that? course in town. Oh, hey. This is a cool-looking UI. Requires... Oh my god, the fucking Rest manga style. <laughs> okay, this is kind of cool, actually. Life balance. <laughs> Sounds like you've got to pick it up, Miss Yoon Lee. <laughs> That's actually sick. Your money back. I have a feeling this march will have some fortuitous encounters and crucial assistance along the way. Uh -huh. Okay. I might just have to offer a helping hand myself. The encounters and sword training experiences that march accumulate. Oh, he's back. Fucking barking dude's back. Yep. <laughs> The end result will always be a solo confrontation with Scott. Though ah. the nature of the showdown will Oh yeah, there we go. Free Elons. Three of them, day, okay. Trailblazers can acquire Stellar Jade and March 7th, the Hunts Adelon. With the combined assistance of her friends, surely Miss March will prevail over Only three though. Scott. So I'm, I'm guessing you can't see six her in this event. The Swordmaster is worthy of hmm. the sword in their hand. They have nothing to worry about. Wise words indeed, Miss Yun Lee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Oh, to God. Another event. No. <laughs> the After trash cats have followed us to the, the fucking sure Sancho. remember with fondness their unpredictable old friends. What are they doing here? <laughs> It would seem these old friends have appeared on the Sienjo. <laughs> Appear they have. And a medical intern from Penacone is on the lookout. Oh, 2.5 of the other three. Let okay. Go to complete a series of shoots to uncover the Yeah, Lord Katanoff is fucking back. <laughs> Wait, what? They're doing a trash can shoot? You better believe it. The intern in question is Randolph. And just like the Trailblazers, oh goodness, they're a trash can enthusiast. If you spend <laughs> oh enough my God. time in the cosmos, there's nobody you won't encounter. Trash can enthusiasts <laughs> comes with the territory. What the fuck? During the event, are we taking pictures of trash cans? The photography software provided <laughs> oh, by Randolph okay. to take pictures of trash cans hidden among the crowds. Different trash cans mean different points. 
with some trash cans even adopting special movements. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking JoJo poses. To maximize your points and complete the stage objective. Oh wow, they're appearing the everywhere. Okay, so it's like trash spot the trash can. Unexpectedly and without warning. Trailblazers wishing to catch them all will need their wits about them. Now, okay. Isn't oh god, not another one. <laughs> Trailblazer friendship is magic. Bellabog. Bellabog too? Has it that Bellabog <laughs> okay, well, they originate there, so it makes sense. By a shadow of unknown origin. To resolve this case, our trash How many trash events are we getting? <laughs> of trailblazers and Bellabogians alike. <laughs> and that's the end of the trash can related content for this version. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Don't speak too soon. Uh oh. <laughs> In the Trailblaze Friendship is Magic event, Trailblazers need to use specific characters to. Oh, God. They even have our fucking magic. picture on them, our Some poster. <laughs> trash can comrade, letter pony to fight alongside them. A trash can summoning magician. <sighs> what? <laughs> Does this sorcerer have any other. Notable abilities. Of course. So wait, a, a trash can's working with us is what you're saying. Oh my god. With the power <laughs> to command mini cans during battle. The mini what? There's paler posters on her. Which character was used to summon them? Adding There's paler posters on that one. Experience. For example. Please tell me there's an ugly poster of like every character in the game. Up to a maximum of five. That'd be actually fucking field, magnificent. The oh my god, they're our friends. The they're helping us this time. Classic trash warfare. Well, get this. Some Play with trash cans, let's an go. <laughs> what? State and receive extra buffs. And we've only scratched the surface. Trailblazers who wish to test. Oh my god, they're actually playable. What the hell? So in game. <laughs> and they're OP <laughs> as well. The event will launch a new challenge stage daily with five. Oh yeah, who's gonna be a trash main? Raise your hands if you're gonna be a trash main. <laughs> what? Challenge, yeah, we're gonna use the power trash to beat up Argenti. For an even harder test. <laughs> See you on the battlefield, friends. <laughs> Yeah, we got playable trash cats before we got GTA 6. More exciting updates after the following broadcast. Oh god, is there gonna be another one? <laughs> this is gonna be like one more trash event. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's your last redemption code, folks. Alright, uh I'm just gonna type it in chat real quick because while I process what the fuck? <laughs> So one event, we're actually like trying to find the trash cans, and then another event, we're the trash cans are on our side, and it's gonna help us beat up people. <laughs> what the hell? Hoyo, you're taking this trash shit way too far. <laughs> yeah, we got trash made DPS before we got fucking Sunday. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm not sure what to say about all these events, other than, yeah, I'm playing them 100%. Also, yeah, the art challenge as well. Yeah, I love this art of uh, Firefly and Akron. <laughs> Firefly even has, like, a raccoon sticker on her face. Also, yeah, Dr. Ratio's here, too. Just all the way on the side. Man, though, okay, this update seems pretty good, actually. Like, we got story quests, and we got, like, these fun Welcome events. Back, oh, and a free ten pull as, as well. Let's go. We'll be seeing the return of ten free warps in the Gift of Odyssey check-in event. I was waiting Man, they, they're not doing this for, like, every update, <laughs> like, it seems. Here to stay. And, of course, there's also the double events. Oh, yep, Planer I definitely Fisher, need to do that. Plenty. Remember to complete the simulated universe. Oh, Planet Fisher 2? Hell yeah. Ornaments. Mm-hmm. And we haven't even got to this version's system optimization I yet. need that. Starting with the relic system. When using the filter function for oh. screen relics already in your possession, filter choices can be saved for a oh, faster cool. selection process. QL cool. changes, nice. Inventory, trailblazers will find new quick lock and quick discard functions. When choosing Quick relics discard relics, too, okay, that's nice. Relics will be sorted according to the character's relic set prioritization, with the most suitable relics appearing first. I <laughs> see. also a new feature for relic substat recommendations. By using the recommended relics feature, not only can Trailblazers view a character's ah. most frequently used relic set, but also the recommended main and subsidiary So how about the newbies, stats? I guess, Finally. who don't like to look up <laughs> uh, guide videos? Let's go. And Cavern of Corrosion in the Interastral Peace Guide, 
Trailblazers can see recommended characters for the relics in question. How considerate. Oh. Now, to allow cool. Trailblazers to come into faster contact with new versions, captivating events, and time-limited rewards. 2.4 oh. has added an advanced access oh, feature. Oh, the quick unlock feature? Continuance and events. So if a Trailblazer doesn't meet the prerequisite conditions for a given event... Okay, so yeah, quick unlock. Can still experience the new versions, events, and missions? Uh, you got it. Trailblazers who've reached level 21 will see a play. That's very good for newbies. Let's go. For events, Quick for play, yeah. Access eligibility. <laughs> Just select the icon to join the experience. Now that's an optimization. Ready and waiting. <laughs> <laughs> that's good as well because we can't catalog, access some of these places while playing through certain really story quests. Pretty very nice, actually. To be unlocked, we'll get temporary map teleportation access while also featuring. A special icon. Trailblazers hmm. can freely switch between the displays for the normal map and the temporary maps unlocked as a result of advanced access event activation. And what if Trailblazers achieve the normal event activation requirements during the course of early access? Good question. In that yep. case, the event will terminate the advanced activation state and the temporary map channel will close. However, game data will be retained and Trailblazers can continue participating in gameplay as normal through the event stream. Which is Very nice, I actually, for, especially for people who, who like <laughs> slack off on their quests. In other news, <laughs> in the not too distant future, a new episode of Knowing the Universe will be oh. on us. We've invited celebrated Wait, what's this? Yoshiki Tanaka to be with us on the program. Yoshiki Tanaka, Together, who's that? I, I've heard their name before. On the subject of the boundless universe. I, th I think I have. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've never seen this Knowing the Universe stuff. For his participation. Wait, what is this? I can't wait to see that episode. This must be a one point, and like pre one point four kind of thing, because I'd never seen this before. Collaboration. <laughs> Whoa! What the fuck? Twenty twenty five. What? Oh. Collab with Fate Stay Night? Racing for impact. <laughs> Yo, we got a story collab already. Tune for official announcements, Trailblazers. Woo. That what? Oh, please have some fucking saber or somebody in the game, rank. please. <laughs> Returning to the CN Yo! New CN Joe friends. Ne yeah, yeah, it's next year, it seems. 2025 we'll in the third quarter. Oh, fight. man. Why do you have to wait Three so long, CN though? What? In the same place at the same time. Who knows what kind of stories... Yeah, fucking have. Archer, fucking Saber, just... Let just us please give us plenty of characters from the collab. The Don't give us just one, like, Aloy or something. <laughs> Till next time. Holy shit! Yeah. They just dropped that us on us at the very fucking end. Are you kidding me? Okay, and that's the end of the, uh, the live stream. Holy shit! What the f Why did they drop that? <laughs> they waited so long to drop that on us at the very end. What? Fucking f a fake collab just all- Okay, so we have to wait for like a whole last year to, to get that collab, but- Holy shit, it's coming! It's coming! Oh my god, I-, I Okay. <laughs> that just truly, truly came out of nowhere. They did not like, hype it up or anything. It's just like, yep, here it is. Here's your collab for Star Rail. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. But okay, folks, that is the end of the version 2.4 special program. Holy shit. It's- this update seems pretty good, honestly. Okay, so we got, yeah, uh, banners. Oh, Yunli and Hua Hua in the first phase. Second phase is Zhao Chi and Sparkle. Okay, we got a new Trailblaze Continuance, which is part one of an ongoing story. Part two will come on 2.5. Uh, Yunli's, uh, companionship mission, all the events that, uh, we saw just earlier, like, two trash events, and the one you can get Marcus Ederlons, fucking fake collab coming in 2025, are you kidding me? And then, yeah, all the other optimization stuff and whatnot. This was a pretty short live stream, but I'm excited as shit for 2.4 now. I, I absolutely cannot wait for it. Holy crap. They, they, they just pulled that out of their ass just out of nowhere. Just, we had no hints at all regarding like a fake collab or anything. I don't think even the leakers even knew about this. Okay, but we have to wait till 2025 for that? Like, oh my god, why even announce it like this early then? Okay, but the collab is coming. I hope it's gonna be massive. I hope there's like an in-game event and everything regarding the fake collab. Uh, I hope it's not just like Ayla. It's just like, oh, the characters are here. Go ahead, uh, use them, whatever. I, I hope they do something massive for this collab. Yeah, I haven't played a lot of Fate or seen a lot of like Fate anime and whatnot. 
all I know is that it's a really a very very good like franchise and yeah one that they definitely wanted to team up with to collab with but okay folks uh well, man that that yeah that's the end of the uh 2.4 special program oh my goodness i cannot wait for it but alrighty, folks that is where i'm gonna end things off for today everybody thank you all so much for watching leave a like on the live stream if you enjoyed my reaction to everything here and you know subscribe today if you want to see some more videos or streams from me regarding genshin star rail or zenless zone zero which i will be trying to stream next week truthfully thank you all so much for watching and hope to see you guys again in the next stream take care of yourselves and have a good night and yeah see you all again on tuesday when i stream once again Alrighty guys, see ya!